Hey guys, nice to see you again. It's been so long, I know. So I promised my friend that if he gave me his camera, that I'd take it over here to Japan and start doing some vlogs. It's my first time trying it out. I want to start it off with a food blog. There's so much food out here that uh, you can't get over in the States, and I really want to try some uh, and show you guys like what the options are. Now, I tried getting some of the food that I haven't tried yet uh, so that we can try this all together. Today I'm going to try some chips. Everybody loves chips. I love chips. And these aren't your standard Doritos. These aren't your Lay's. These aren't your Cheetos. These aren't your... I don't, I don't know what you guys like to, like to eat. Comment what you like to eat below, I guess. But um, these chips are the ones that I thought that were either the oddest looking or the ones that looked really, really yummy. Without further ado, let's do this. I'm ready. I want these chips to get in my belly. So I think the first ones we're going to try are these balls. <laughs> I don't know. I tried translating this into my, my app. I won't, I won't do it. So I don't really know what it is, but this says tooth aji. Like it, it, I, I, that's not exactly how you pronounce it, but from what it's trying to translate it as, it says tooth aji. So I don't know what that means, but look at this frog, man. Like that's why I picked it. I like, it was like this frog dude. He's like, he's got a tie on. He doesn't have a collar to tie it around. There's not, it's just like someone just stuck it in there just like shoved it through his neck. So uh, he's got his like, little utility belt. Looks like he's got like a gun or a knife or something on him. And, uh, like a pregnancy test. Uh, <laughs> and then he's got like this like fancy little hat. So I really don't know what these are. I have no idea. Um, I've not tried them myself, but I see them around. And um, I don't know. These look really yummy. So let's bust them out. This is way easier. <laughs> way easier than I thought it was. Uh, it smells like ketchup. <laughs> yeah, it kind of smells like like ketchup. Oh, like a, your average like cheese poof kind of cheese ball looking 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 thing. Mm -hmm. No, definitely like a cheese ball, like texture. Almost like if you were to like, I guess it tastes like, you know that like just noodle soup that you can buy? And it's, it tastes like you just got like a cheese ball and didn't put cheese powder on it, but you put like that, that chicken broth kind of powdered instead of like without like putting it in the water and making it into broth, you just kind of like put it in a bag with those balls and you kind of shook it up and... Yeah, kind of just like chicken broth. Not bad. Mm-hmm. I eat it. Yeah, these are going to be a good snack. Yeah. On to the next one! So I have these now. And... I didn't try to translate them. Let me see if I can. With the weird font, it might not do it. Twice. Ramen. In the formulation, rip finish, no. With no powder, bead mass. I don't know what this is. I don't know. We're just gonna try it. Didn't use enough strength on that one. Smells like um, like a. Uh, smells like um. Uh, I don't know, like it. It says ramen, so I'm trying to think of ramen, but it's like, just like the noodle part. Like, you know, when you get that like little square package and you open the package and it's just the noodles. It's like smells like that, but it's like almost like as if there's still flavor too. That's good, man. Mm-hmm. Whoa. What the heck? What are these? That's so good. I don't know what flavor that is, but... It just, it's just... I think it's just ramen. Like, it's just like... Ramen put into... 
these weird long strips and then I feel like it's got some sort of flavor on it no no these are good I'd eat these um, yep yep two for two two for two yep I'm happy with this purchase <laughs> I like went to the gym and then went into like convenience store. Like, I guess not even a convenience store. It's kind of like a, a Walgreens-ish kind of thing called Welzia. It probably looks really, really weird coming out because I literally like had just gone from the gym into this place and walked out with a ton of junk food. I got a whole bunch of stuff to like make other videos too. We'll do this one next. We'll save that one for last. This one looked delicious and that's why I, looked, like, I grabbed it. Don't know what it is, but it looks like cheese in ring form, and I'm not mad about it. And I think, I don't know, I don't want to be wrong and think that that is Dor Doraemon, but it's kind of like the vibe I'm getting from him. I don't think it's him. Maybe it is. I, and it just says cheese. That's the only thing I can read. This is cheese. So. You gonna try it? Yeah, I know. That's not. That's definitely not Doraemon. <clears throat> Look, they got a flower and oh, another flower <laughs> playing a harmonica and a, and a guitar. Just jamming. He's just karaoke. He's singing into a sentient microphone. Dang. Oh, Japan, if you get masks, like those face masks that you're using right now, uh, I'm using right now, I ever, oh, mm, you, you get that smell inside my mask. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, this is just a cheat, like a Cheeto, like well, a cheese puff, like Cheetos, like the puffs. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> what, what, they're like a Greninja. <laughs> yeah, but that's what it looked like. That little Cheeto. Nah, it's like basically a cheese puff just in a ring. I love those. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with chips here. It's hard to go wrong with chips in general. Mm. <clears throat> Here's our last one. This one makes me a little nervous. Two reasons. I like my gluten. It's gluten free. But, doesn't mean it's bad. Also, I think they're like prawn flavored. And I'm not a huge seafood fan, which means they're very hard for me to eat things while I'm here in Japan. However, I still eat them anyway. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it. <laughs> My heart's beating really fast. I'm scared. <laughs> I was I was excited. I was hoping that these would be really good. And I really hope that they are. That's what we got here. Just got this like little like, flake thing. Got a little orange stuff on it. I I really don't like fish, man. Ooh, but I was like, I need to try something. I need to try something that's a little oddball. And I thought the ramen would be weird, but no, this is this is the weirdest one. This is the one I'm scared of. Okay. Got this. Get in my belly!
Their bark is so much worse than their bite. They... <clears throat> their scent, they smell like fish, but they just taste like nothing. There it is. Yup. It's always the aftertaste. Yeah, no, it's just, just like nothing. And then you get it down, and it's made... It tastes like fish afterwards. It just like leaves a fishy <laughs> taste in your mouth. And I like the texture of them. I really think they're like they're light and they're fluffy and I think that's good. I think I'm just getting, I'm psyching myself out. It's like the idea of me like not wanting to eat fish, but eating it anyway and then the smell. Oh, I'm getting it. So not my favorite, not my favorite, but I guess now it's time to rank these things. You can't, you cannot go wrong with these. And the cheese buff ones, not, not way. No way we can go wrong with them. Number one, by far. Number one. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go ramen. This ramen one was so good. Um, and it says no powder. I think this says something about like not having any powder on them. So I think there might be other flavors of these. And I kinda wanna try the other flavors now. Let's see what's up. This is number two. Number three. Number three is gonna be, um, it's gonna be the, 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 the ketchup smelling chicken noodle. Tasting one. Because they're good and they, they remind me of like the, that big bucket of cheese balls that you can get back home. They like, like they stick to your teeth and everything. And then it's these ones. And they're not bad. I mean, I think they're just like the worst out of the four I grabbed. And. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, these ones are definitely four, but they're not bad. Um, so I'm, I, I definitely masked the taste with these cheese ones. So thanks for joining me for this video, guys. Um, our ne my next video is going to be other snacks. So just uh, I've got plenty of time while I'm here just chilling inside and trying to just be away from this crazy thing that's going on around the world. Keep washing your hands and just um, keep that social distancing. Try to wear a mask when you can if you're going to go out in public. Yeah, send suggestions, comment down below what you want to see, what you want me to do. Um, and and I think one of the videos I definitely wanted to try is show you guys what Japanese McDonald's looks like. Because I had a Giga Big Mac the other day, and that thing was massive. Like, four patties. It just, it was a, it was a ton of stuff. And they've got a 15-piece. They have a 15-piece nugget. And it's great. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what, um, Japanese McDonald's looks like at some point. And I'm super excited about that, so. Um... It's also Sakura season, the cherry blossom season. So um, within this, uh, these next couple, couple weeks that I'm here, um, hopefully I can go take you guys to go see the cherry blossoms. Um, but thanks so much for joining me today. And uh, please, uh, I don't know, share the video, like it, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, some more of my stuff. That's going to be later to come. And um, I really appreciate you guys. Have fun and stay positive, all right? Bye, guys.